everyone. I'm making the week 11 part B pre-discussion vlog. I just keep falling more and more in love with this book and that's something I'm definitely bringing to it but I, t oh, I am such a I could go on and on and on and on about why I love this book. I've narrowed it down to a couple points. Um, first of all, the writing is, is amazing. The world building is incredible. It is consistent and it's consistently unforgiving with explaining itself. I mean, it like tells you about like a location, but it's also like, have some more words figure it out and it gives you the context to figure it out and I love the mental exercise that is of having to focus and piece it together um also big big fan of a lot of strong female characters in lead roles I feel like not to rag on any previous classes I've had but that can kind of go overlooked a little bit for literary criticism and it's just really cool to see them portrayed in fair and complex and layered ways like oh, I, I love it I love it so much I'm in love with I, I I love it a lot, so I'm gonna say love a lot, but I'm just in love with the way that it shifts perspective, perspectives and brings you back and forth to different parts and places and t times and stories and oh my god, it's so good! Um, but probably like my favorite part about it is that it is fantasy written for adult readers. I feel like, you know, a lot of fantasy is kind of written for, you know, 13 to 16, maybe. Um, and once you kind of hit 18, it's like, okay, now you're gonna read self-help books and books with born protagonists. But this one is like, everyone can have a little fantasy as a treat, and I love it. Um, gosh. I love... God, I could go on and on. My favorite part in the newer reading has been getting to be inside Sen's mind? I don't know how to pronounce it. Um but she's the, the ringed Bergano from the Academy. <sighs> Fulcermo? I don't have the text in front of me because I'm pulling on my computer. But I'm like, she's so interesting and I love seeing her process of processing information, reacting to the world. God, you just, you, you never read a female character like that. It's, it's so good. Um, and I love it. I love her. So obviously the quote I chose for my discussion question is about her. Um, so on my version, it's on page 276. There's a big disparity. Um, I'm sorry to hear of your senior's illness, says a seal with a little smile that almost makes Sane's hackles rise. Almost, because she knows it was coming and could thus brace for it. It still rankles. So, my discussion question for this passage is, what, if anything, does the word choice in this passage tell us about the situation and the characters? I have thoughts about it, but I'm really excited to hear everyone else's and all your other thoughts about this book. Oh, I love it so much. Steven, thank you for making us read this. Okay, bye. <laughs>